So, yes, today we have my really great friend, Kim Logan, and she is a upcoming, very awesome musician, and um, she is in town in Sarasota, where her and I both met. She is a native Sarasotian. There's, it's hard. It's, it's hard with it's Sarasota. Sarasota. So talk well, about what we are. Sarasotiest. <laughs> Whatever you want to call us. But anyway, we were just going to tell you a couple things about Sarasota because tons of you ask about where I'm from and kind of want to know more about the area. For those of you who have not been to Sarasota, here's your chance to learn more about it. Kim, would you like to tell me what you love about Sarasota? Sure. Um, I love Sarasota. Being from here has been one of the coolest things ever. We get a very cool hometown to grow up in, those of us who do grow up here. And... Basically, we just have every art imaginable, all the fine arts. We have opera, which I grew up doing for a decade here. We have ballet, visual art, community theater, an orchestra, and a community that really fosters a lot of the new art that we're able to do, like rock and roll or hooping. And um, it's, it's just a really collaborative, communicative, supportive community for creative people. And it's not to mention in paradise on the beach in Florida. <laughs> and there's signs everywhere that'll tell you that we're the number one beach. Siesta Key beat Maui in Hawaii to be the number one beach in the country. Awesome. So, yeah. <laughs> well, Kim, let me tell you. Um, I love that, by the way. She um, has a really great understanding on the arts in Sarasota. And me only being here for about four and a half, almost five years, I just went to the Ringling College. And I came here for the arts because Ringling College of Art and Design is an art school and I learned to really love this area. When I first got here I didn't like it very much because I'm from the Midwest, uh, Kansas City and I miss the changing of the seasons, the leaves and all that so I kind of got a little bit sour towards Sarasota and then I started to really learn to love it and appreciate it especially after I went back home and it was like mm. snowing and I wanted the cold back. <laughs> Or the, the heat back. The heat back, yeah. Yeah. And, um, and I ended up staying because this place has such a good sense of community that I didn't just go to college and make college friends. I really um, immersed myself into the Sarasota community and kind of created a family here. So I decided to stay after college. I don't know if I'll be here forever, but I do know that right now it's a great place for anyone that is young, old, or newly born I guess <laughs> to be so yeah so Kim would you like to tell everyone a little bit more about where they can find out information about you sure the internet um, <laughs> I have a website at www.kimlogan.net and you can find me as Kim Logan on Facebook Instagram Twitter all of those and I also have the old-fashioned vinyl records for sale which this is the one that I gave Audrey when we first met and um, yeah you can find that on my website as well and CDs and all sorts of cool stuff like that it's very pretty yeah, yeah, it's gorgeous. <laughs> thanks United Record Pressing <laughs> awesome guys definitely check out our website and definitely buy the album support musicians spend a couple bucks it's worth it and if you'd like to learn more about myself, you can check out my YouTube channel, and all my links can be found at hoopinglive.com. You can add me on Instagram, Twitter. All the information is there. Again, that's hoopinglive.com. And until next time, you guys have a great day. <laughs>